I want to welcome you back to Black Sight, and tonight we're going to talk about President Donald Trump suspending all legal immigration to America. President Trump should have done this as soon as this pandemic started. You should not be letting anybody into this country until we get this pandemic under control. President Trump will have a legal fight. You know most progressive and legal organizations will be filing lawsuits today, especially in the Ninth Circuit, where they can get a stay against the President of the United States. But if you have seen in the past, President Trump has usually won these decisions when they have gone to the Supreme Court, especially the travel ban, which he instituted as soon as he came into office. The legal immigration part about this, he said he's doing it because he's protecting American workers. Right now we have between 25 and 27 million unemployed Americans because of this pandemic. Yes, he should be protecting American workers. And why would you let people into a country where there is no jobs? People are all laid off getting unemployment. They're not working and haven't worked for months. So basically, you're asking people to come into this country to join the welfare system or the welfare state. And until this pandemic is over, until we get back on our feet, until the economy is roaring again, we should not let any people into this country. And let me tell you something. It doesn't benefit poor African Americans or Latinos, but especially African American men who seem to be at the bottom cast when it comes to getting jobs in America. Why would we even care about legal immigration? There are going to be a lot of people crying about the H-1B, whatever, whatever they call those visas that go out to Silicon Valley. They import cheap labor in so they don't have to pay the prices for American workers who happen to be in high tech. So what they'll do, they go to India, they'll go to some Southeast Asian companies, and they'll get that visa that comes into America. And they will hold the visa and <clears throat> pay these individuals who work in Silicon Valley much lower than they would pay Americans. And we have to stop that. See, there is no time right now to be having more people come into a country when the country is in the condition that it is right now. But you will hear de Democrats crying today about legal immigration. And why would you even be contemplating legal immigration when we are in a recession, damn near a Great Depression? And now our next video coming up is going to be about the 2020 Great Depression. So what are we going to do? We're going to put everybody on welfare? Because damn it, that's what it seems like is going to happen in the future. You know, nobody has the right to come to America. If anybody remember in history between the years of 1924 to 1965, Americans basically stopped immigration into America. And the reason why they did that is because they wanted American citizens to assimilate into American society. So they stopped immigration at that period of time. Now you're going to hear people running around talking about the Statue of Liberty and how many people we should let in and this is anti-American. How is this anti-American when he's temporarily doing this because of a pandemic. And during a pandemic, you do anything to stop the spread of letting people into the country. And there has to be other countries around the world that have done the same thing. It's about safety, but it's also about protecting American jobs for American people. So you said we're going to let in another million people, and we got 22 to 25, 22 to 25 million unemployed. That doesn't make any sense at all. 
I feel as though it's too many people in this country. And too many people taking away American jobs. See, we gotta learn to think about ourselves first instead of thinking about people coming from overseas. And this might only be six months. It might only be until Joe Biden is elected. And Joe Biden's gonna let in everybody. And you're gonna see all the complaining happening. When you see all these illegals, legal immigrants pack into the black community across America. So this one, I would agree with the president on stopping legal immigration until we get back on our feet. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that right button and share this video.